What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm currently on my way to the Goodwill outlet to do a little bit of shopping. Uh, it is 4.30 already, so getting kind of a late start to the video here. Um, I was going to go back to that other Goodwill from last night and return the rest of those things, hopefully, but and I was gonna, I was gonna not go to the store first. So I was home this morning and Abby left to go to the store. And then as I was about to leave, I realized the stuff that I'm supposed to return is in her car and it's at the store. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow, but for right now, I'm gonna head to the outlet, see if I can find anything. And then I'm probably gonna stop at a couple other Goodwills before I head back to the store. And uh, my goal is to try to get another Amazon shipment done uh, by tomorrow. So I can get one more done before I leave. They will most likely both check in to the Amazon warehouse when I'm gone and stuff can start selling. Because um, obviously when I'm gone, I'm not going to be making any money. I'm not going to be working on eBay and Amazon stuff. We'll have the store, of course, and Abby will have to cover eBay shipping. But that's about it. Um, so... It's nice to have stuff check in when I'm gone, start making some sales that way. Um, Cause it, you know, I have to send the boxes to Amazon first. Uh, stuff is not even put up for sale until it checks in and is in stock so that they can ship it as soon as it sells. So that's the goal. Um, like I said, it's already 4.30. I'm sure we've had some trade-ins at the store, which once I get back there, we will take a look at all those. There was one really cool one that Abby called me about the guy wanted a price on. Um, I think that he kind of liked our ballpark offer and so he said he was going to bring it back in within like a couple hours. So hopefully that's there. And it's something that we already have in the collection too. So it's going to be, you know, something nice to have for the store that we can sell. Um, I'll have to compare condition and everything, but uh, it should be pretty cool. So hopefully that's there by the time I get there as well. And yeah, that's the plan. So I'm almost at the outlet. Should be just about a couple minutes here and we'll do some filming. Just left the outlet, guys, and we did pretty good today. I'm really happy with what we found. I was only here for a couple rotations. It's 541 right now. Um, it's raining outside. I'm sure you guys can kind of see. Um, so I'm not going to be able to show you the stuff until we get back to the store because I got a ton of electronics. And I'm not going to let them get all rained on as I talk about them. So we'll do that once we get back to the store. But for now, we're going to head to a couple more uh, regular Goodwills, try to spend the rest of our store credit from yesterday. And uh, yeah, then we'll head back to the store. So this is like all the trade-ins, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, this is all one trade-in. We got Cart Only, Project X, Tales of the Abyss. These are already priced because I just wanted to get them done and out of the way. Um, but yeah, so these came in. If you're interested in any of these, you can buy them. Message us on Facebook. Also part of the same one. Um... And then these came in. We did get quite a bit of imports today, which is interesting. It doesn't happen too often. Um, when this trading came in, we had another, uh, like, a Japanese GameCube game. Well, it was just a case. It was an actual game. So this came in and that. That was all one person. They took cash. <clears throat> and then this is actually Ryan's trade-in. 
and there's some other stuff that I'm just not going to show. Um, some manuals. These had some of these had discs to them, but they didn't have case art, um, map, and a poster. Empty, also empty, also empty, and also empty. But these were in here. So we got Crash, Bandicoot Wart, Twisted Metal 2, Minecraft, which has gotten really popular again and has gone up in price again. Final Fantasy 12? 12? 12? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said 7 earlier about it. <laughs> Last of Us Remastered. This is the pack in, so not for resale. Then we have two Super Nintendo cartridges. And then, oh, I don't think this was. Was this yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this one. We'll and then uh, all of DS. Mouse. Yep. Cables. Okay, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then this was another trade in. All she traded in were amiibos. Um, she just had a bunch of duplicates. She did geocaching, so she traded those in. This was another trade in. These are just empty cases. Uh, Soul Silver, we already have three cases of these, but. We do get the game in loose quite frequently, and then Mario, Super Mario DS also comes in loose quite frequently. And then this was a really nice trade-in. Uh, this is a PS Vita. This is a 2000 um, model. However, it is Japanese, so this is not the U.S. release. It'll still play the games. It's not region-locked, but as you can see, if you have a Vita, the X and zero buttons are backwards, but otherwise exactly the same great condition screen wise there's a little bit of dust on here just from it sitting but awesome and then we got a <clears throat> ridiculously priced Vita memory card these are just expensive this is what they go for it's really sad how expensive they are but they're expensive so <laughs> and then another import Gundam Gundam and then Silent Hill Book of Memories it's a good one so that was just one person. They also traded in a charger with that. Now this is all one person as well. Um, this is the only 3DS game. It came in a sleeve. I'm not sure if we have it. So I just have it off to the side for Cooper. Um, game Boy Advance. Connected cable. Connector cable for uh, GameCube. And then this was disc only. And then we had three other disc only ones as well. Uh, Ryan's purchasing this. Ryan's purchasing this, so those are not available. Sorry, guys. Um, big reason why I took a lot of these titles in is because these are titles that we don't get in. Uh, I mean, Evil Within we do, Dead Island we do, but it's just there. This is 75% of games that hardly ever come in. Another import, uh, Biohazard HD Remaster. Uh, but yeah, so there are some definitely good titles in here. Definitely not so good titles, but a good enough chunk that I took it in. So of Enders, Mortal Kombat Complete Condition. This is brand new, sealed. Red Dead Redemption. Simpsons game, which has also gone up in price. DuckTales Remastered. Six months ago, people wanted these so badly. Call of Duty Black Ops Collection. So this is three games in one type thing. Near, which a lot of people ask for this. Oh, looks like I don't have a sticker for that. Worms Collection, great game. Alien vs. Predator, Rage, Rayman Origins, and Yakuza 3. Um, I don't think we have anything else. Ryan's eating Chinese food that we ordered because we were starving. So good. <laughs> it is good. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye. All right, guys. We are at our next stop. This is the new Goodwill. The one that opened up, I don't know when it was, a year ago or so we came to the grand opening. And that trip, that date that they opened, that was my best Goodwill haul ever. <laughs> so let's see if we can find it this one. looks like movies in here and books.
this one, but I don't see anything else. Oh yes, this is a good one. I don't even have to look it up, but I will to show you guys. Alright, so we just left that Goodwill. We did pretty good in there. Um, and when it comes to stuff that I'm selling on eBay and Amazon, I look at two things. I look at the price, and then I also look at how quickly it's going to sell. So the camera, the Olympus camera, um, it was seven bucks, and it was something like $85 on Amazon. But the rank was 40, like 45,000 in camera, which that that's not too high of a rank that camera will sell at some point but it might take a few months and i'm trying to avoid those types of items right now unless the profit is just massive like if it's a dollar 
going into 100, I'll, you know, I'll take the chance, but seven bucks to make, you know, 70 after fees and shipping, but have to wait maybe, I mean, up to six months, maybe it's really not worth it for me. So I'm trying to get stuff that sells quicker. And that's why I was so excited to see this. And I told you guys, this is a really good one. It's not super expensive, but the rank was under 2000 in toys, which that basically translates to this is going to sell within a few hours of it going up for sale. So it was five bucks. I can't remember what it was after fees and shipping, but it was something like 15 or whatever. The other puzzle I also grabbed, this one had a little bit of a higher rank, but it still will sell. This is only two bucks, by the way. And then you saw the, the Canon uh, printer paper here, or photo paper. One of those was actually opened and then taped closed again. So I only ended up getting two of them, but they were three bucks each into like something like 11 each. I can't remember exactly. And then we got the rock band mic. The only reason I bought it is because it was bundled with the guitar um, receiver and it was eight bucks, which is kind of high, but we'll sell the microphone at the store for five and then we'll sell the receiver on Amazon for probably 25 to 30. So that was definitely worth it. But the best score from here was this Tyco RC battery and charger. Um, this is factory sealed. Um, when you see packaging like this, sometimes you have to be careful because it can just snap together right here and sometimes they're pre-owned. But this one, if you look closely, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the, in the dark car, but it's actually like sealed at the top and then down both sides. It's like crimped together and like actually sealed. So uh, this was $7 and it was like 80 bucks on Amazon with a decent rank in toys. Like I think it was like 400,000 or so. I go up to a million for rank in toys and I'll go slightly above that if there's currently none in stock or if the profit's really, really big, but this was an awesome score. We spent a total of $30.29, but we used our credit, so we still have like $8 and some change left over. I have one more Goodwill to hit before we head back to the store. Hello. What are we doing? Uh, we're opening up a package. Uh, who is this sent by? Nathan. Nathan sent this package. I'll make sure I'm not hurting nothing. All right, he packaged it well. Yeah, because there's something really cool in there. All right, there is some cool stuff. All right, first off the bat, we, we have this awesome Pikachu. We have a chonky Pikachu that got a little smushed just, just a little. <laughs> in delivery. <laughs> kind of got to squeeze his face around a little bit. Yes. That's very cool. I'll show that one last. Oh, um, it's okay. You can show it whenever. Well, got some wee main wells. Sweet. We can throw that in the million boxed wee systems that uh, we have. I'm guessing these are empty cases. I think they are. Yeah, so we got Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, Baja, Edge of Control, and Ooh. Super Mario Galaxy yeah. 2. Super Mario Galaxy, we just have cases for. Ooh. We have a bunch of dollar toys and a very cool Bulbasaur in there. Yeah. Ooh, and a very cool Pidgey. Ooh, that Pidgey is yeah, really cool. those are cool. And for the last cool piece, a Nintendo Switch, yay! It's just an empty it, box. It's just a box. But yeah, I think, that, I don't know if I there's something, uh, I mean, I feel like they would have noticed. It's, yeah, it's, it's empty. got all the stuff. Oh, okay, it's so not empty, empty. <laughs> All right, so we got a cool case for a 3DS. Very that cool. That is so cool. Sounds like Abby wants I'll it. I'll steal me. A Rubik's Cube. Cooper. Good old Rubik's. Cooper can add that to his Rubik's Cube With collection. Oh, cool. And that is it. And some baggies. Yeah, very cool. Thank you so much, Nathan. Yeah, thank I appreciate you, Nathan. It. I already very got cool your stuff. I already got your package sent out, so that's actually probably already arrived. Yeah. This is our next one. So this is a trade I did. He did put a note in here. It's from Jason. Hey guys, here's my portion of our transaction. Please open the one that says open. Please open the one that says open with care. Well, carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I threw in the PS1 and SMS controller and I have no current use for them. Not sure if they work, but I'm sure they'll be put to good use. I've had that, th he's had one of these items 
in that's in this box for over a decade, and he says it's one of his few goodwill finds. So I, I think I know. So this says open with care. So we did a trade for this. This is part cash, part uh, something else. Now watch the tape. Um, this item, I had absolutely no idea that it was kind of expensive. I would just unravel it, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I had absolutely no idea like how uncommon this is. So, Ryan. So DK yeah, Jams, <clears throat> there are... This is, like, a variant of it. So, there is one that's in, like, a, a like, a crystal. Like yeah, a, an like a, CD case. Yeah, a CD filter. case. And then there are also, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, there's also one that is a cassette tape. And both of the covers look like Christmas yeah. things. Because I showed you them. <laughs> yeah, and I had yeah, absolutely yeah. no idea. So, we will be keeping this. It's very, very cool. Yeah, um, very awesome. I think Cooper will love it. And then we have some other stuff as well. We have some recycled uh, Christmas wrapping paper. Okay, so he said that he doesn't know if these work, but he thinks we'll put them to good use. So we'll get that tested. But yeah, super mm. or master, master system. system. Yeah. And then we got a PS1 controller. And then the last thing that I purchased, which I thought was also very cool, which is for the collection as well, is a Mortal Kombat um metal slammer but it is very cool in my opinion looks like it had a tag on the back but yeah oh that's awesome that is awesome isn't it very cool mm. i'm like i'm wondering if there's any like background information about it because i don't know like if there's this something that you just purchased or it came with something i don't know very cool very cool we are at our last stop and we're going to the store abby told me that she was filming all the trade-ins so you guys have probably seen those, or you will see them soon. Let's see if we can find.
We just left that last Goodwill and we did pretty dang good. I'm actually really happy with what we found. Let's get the car going here. All right, so this is probably one of our best scores. This is the official Deluxe Canasta Caliente card game. Brand new, where's the price tag? It was $2.99. You guys saw me look it up. Um, good rank on Amazon, <laughs> high price, that's awesome. We also got this Walking Dead uh, puzzle here. This one was $1.99, that's the only reason I bought it because the it's like three bucks profit, but that is the merchant fulfilled price. So FBA is a little bit higher, so we should be able to double, maybe triple our money on that one. But it was so cheap, that's why I did it. Then we got the that memory match game here. Um, it did not match the photo of the second listing, but the first listing had a picture of like the contents, not a picture of the front. So I have to do a little bit of research, but for three bucks, if it goes for any either one of those two listings, it's worth it. Then this is also pretty good. This is the, the F14D Super Tomcat um, like model kit. It was eight bucks, still brand new. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was like, I mean, you guys just saw it in the video. <laughs> also, the only reason I bought this one is because of the rank. This little solitaire game, it was $4 and it's like seven and some change after fees and shipping. The only reason I bought it though is because it was like ranked 26K in toys, which basically means it'll sell, that rank should probably sell within a day or two. So that's why I got it. And then, right as I was checking out, I saw a PS2 multi-tap for $4. I also got this factory sealed Sony uh, multi-brand, like universal remote. Um, it was $1.99 and it was like 25 on Amazon. Also got a very nice Panasonic pencil sharpener. This is a really cool one. I've had this one a couple times. It was five bucks. It should sell for about 25-ish. And then I got another little Rubik's cube for my lot. This is a keychain one. Um, it's not like a like a rotating Rubik's cube. It's like one of the games where you push the buttons. Uh, but it is Rubik's brand, so that'll go in my lot. I think I have enough Rubik's cube stuff now to do a lot, and it should sell for about fifty to sixty bucks for what I have. But my favorite score were these PS2 games, which you guys saw. I never find stuff like this at the regular Goodwills. Every now and then I'll see something at the outlet, but it is Goodwill policy to scan every game that they get in. Any cartridge at all, even the cheap cartridges, they're supposed to send to e-commerce to be sold online, whether it's goodwillbooks.com, shop Goodwill, or one of the Goodwill's Amazon or eBay accounts. So every cartridge is supposed to go to that. And then every like disc-based game, if it's worth 10 bucks or more, they're supposed to send it off. I guess they missed these ones. So we have Star Ocean till the end of time. This is about a 10, maybe $12 game. So that one's not very expensive. But then we have Castlevania Lament of Innocence. This one is about a $15 game. And these are all complete, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. But the best one was Wild Arms 4. These were all $4 a piece, so $3.99. This is a $25 game. And that's not that's not crazy expensive um, for a video game. 25 bucks is not a very high price, but to find a $25 game at Goodwill for $4 is like unheard of anymore. It really sucks because when I started doing this, these same exact Goodwills that I go to now, I used to go to, you know, back in 2009, 2010, and I would find N64 and Super Nintendo games every single time I went. I remember finding, um, at the last one we went to yesterday, uh, I found Lost Vikings 2 and Super Mario RPG just stacked on top of one another, like on top of the book section, and they were like three bucks a piece. And that just doesn't happen anymore, unfortunately. But uh, very, very happy with the stops I've made today. We definitely made up for a little mistake, and I was able to just use the rest of my store credit on this stuff and then pay the difference, of course. Um, so yeah, really, really good stops today. I'm really happy and, uh, it's getting kind of late. So let's head to the store. Some of you guys have been asking for a little bit more band stuff, practicing and whatnot. So, uh, this is how I practice. Let's go in the distance for what you 
Execute! You show your temperament to be trivial! No will drown in your own vomit! Laced with me! Devoted! Crumbling! Like a sea! All you have betrayed them will not I'm telling you guys right now, if you are not into death metal, you are not going to like the tour vlogs. And I'm prepared for that. I'm just warning you guys. I don't want to hear no complaining. <coughs> Gotta get some distilled water <clears throat> for the resurfacing machine. Ate a lot of it. Hi, Abby. What are you eating? Uh, lo mein. Lo mein? Yeah. So, I'm back at the store now and showing you guys what I got from the outlet. You saw you saw some of it, but I got a bunch of My Little Ponies for the dollar bin, a Gumby, Pokemon, Thumper, and then some more Pokemon stuff here. Got a small stack of Goosebumps to add to my lot, saving up. We have King Kong for the Xbox 360, disc only is a $16 game. So this is an easy one to overlook. Definitely keep your eyes open for that. Found this in a bin and I was like, oh, Angry Birds, not exciting. But I always check the cases because inside was Mario Kart Wii. Got the Pokemon Sun and Moon Strategy Guide for 39 cents. Also got this alien figure, which is... Um, is it alien queen? Does it have a date? It's Kenner. 92. Oh. So. We never opened this from when with Jinder sent I did. Oh, I didn't. I yeah. Figures. That's cool. That is cool. We have another one of those that is for the PC. It has the same figures. It's and the then same all this stuff here as well. I'm not sure. I don't know if it fit. Got this uh, from Snapshots to Great Shots box set. It's got two DVDs and a book. Or possibly software, a DVD and a book. Um, the lady charged me just for a hardback book, so this was two twenty nine. It has kind of a high rank in books. It's in six six million, I think, but it's like forty five dollars. So why not? We have a Wii power cable. We have a Wii U power cable. We have a Wii U gamepad uh, charging cable. We have a three DS charger. We have a Sega Genesis power cable and a Wii Rock Band dongle. And then this is just a little camera battery charger here. This is a battery charger for like a drill. Uh, this thing is about 35-ish on eBay. This remote, I didn't bother to look up because it cost me like a nickel. Um, this Olympus camera here has the original bag, which is cool. I didn't look this one up either, but most of these old Olympus film cameras are actually worth something. You guys saw the other one earlier today. I didn't want to pay seven bucks for it, but this one I got for about a quarter, so why not? Two plushies, flounder, and a Minecraft pig. And then the best find from the outlet is this Panasonic DVD recorder. I didn't look this up. Don't really need to. Has a couple small dents in the top. Um, there's one right there. But if it works, um, it's... I mean, I don't want to give you a wrong price, so let's just look it up right now. So this is a little bit better than I even expected, guys. Um, the cheapest one of these posted on Amazon is 410. The cheapest FBA option is 500. So, you know, that could either be a little too expensive or, you know, whatever it is. Um, you can use the website camelcamelcamel.com to check Amazon sold listings. Um, on eBay, it's very simple. You just click sold listings. Amazon doesn't have that function, so you have to use a third-party website to track that, but Camel 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 is what you use to track Amazon sales. So 
all you have to do is pull up the Amazon page on your browser um, for that item, copy the URL, paste it into Camel, 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 and it'll give you a graph. You can change the, the stuff that it shows you, but every time the graph moves up, moves up or down, that is a sale at the price point that it shows. So um, 500 is probably a little bit high, but with the cheapest one, even Merchant being 410, um, if I posted this for 350, it would probably sell pretty quick. The rank wasn't perfect, but it's not a bad rank. It's kind of average for a lot of like media players. Uh, but that was definitely a score. Hopefully it works. The reason that you guys don't see me picking up more like DVD players and VCRs and stuff is because if we come back here into my office, right here, I have a bunch that I haven't worked on yet. Right back there, I have a bunch that I have not worked on yet. There's another one here. And you guys get the idea. There's also another one right here. So they take up a lot of room. And luckily doing Amazon FBA, I send them off to Amazon. They store them, sell them, you know, ship them when they sell. So that's not a huge deal, but they take a lot of work to prepare before you can send them in. Everything has to be fully tested. You got to test that it reads. You got to test that it, you know, plays a movie. You got to test that each button works. You have to get the remote for it because typically when you find them at Goodwill, they do not have remotes. And according to Amazon's policy, you have to include everything that the listing says it comes with. So a lot of them will say that they come with the original remote. They come with like an HDMI cable or AV cables. They come with the power supply, all that. So you have to have that stuff. Um, and it's just a good idea to have that anyway, because even if you don't include it, even if it's not required to be included, people will just return it because they're going to buy it. They're not going to read your description and they're going to be like, oh, why is there no remote? And they're just going to return it. That's just how it is. So you might as well spend the extra 10, 20 bucks, whatever it is to get the remote um, for can't this one. Peanuts. Yeah, you can't use packing peanuts with Amazon either. If you if you are fulfilling it yourself. You can use packing peanuts to send something to a customer, but if you're sending into the Amazon warehouse, you cannot use packing peanuts or shredded paper or anything like that. Well, and you still don't want to use packing peanuts because if it is a VHS player, the peanuts will go inside and then you are. Yeah. Burned. So they need to be tested. They need to get the remote. And then obviously you want to clean it and all that's part of testing. Um, but then you have to package them so that they're going to arrive undamaged. And that's the big problem with these things is that Amazon workers are not going to look at the type of item you're selling and change their packaging style. They are trained to just do things quickly. And a lot of times, like let's say you sell this camera on Amazon and you put this in some bubble wrap. Amazon's going to take this, they're gonna throw it into a box that's probably three times too big. <laughs> And they're going to put a couple air packets in there and they're going to send it on its way. I have heard stories of people buying like, like, like someone will buy like a, like a hammer and a, and a package of light bulbs and Amazon will send them in the same box. And what do you think happens when it arrives? They open up the box, there's a hammer and a bunch of broken glass. So you have to package things as if you were sending it to the customer, but then you send it into Amazon. So for for media players which is you know dvd players vcrs whatever it is the way that we do it is we buy special boxes that are sized perfectly for that kind of stuff and then we use um we typically will use stretch wrap to wrap around the whole unit so that nothing is touching it um you get the remote the cables and everything in there and typically we will use packing peanuts but we're not sending them into amazon like that basically we get it all packaged up and then we put a sticker on it that says ready to sell, do not separate, something like that. That way Amazon will take the box when it sells, put a label on it and send it to the customer. They're not going to repackage it. So using packing peanuts for that is perfectly fine, but you have to stretch wrap it because the packing peanuts will get inside and it's just a big pain. So they take a lot of work to get them ready and that's why they kind of are piling up back there. Eventually, I'll get to them, and uh, that's why I'm not picking up anymore either is because I don't want to keep buying them because they just keep piling up. But this one I could not pass on. I didn't look it up when I was there, so I'm glad that it it is a good one because some of the Panasonic ones are, like, as low as, like, 80 bucks, at least on Amazon. A little cheaper on eBay, of course, but um, 
yeah, I mean, 69 cents a pound for this thing, this cost maybe like three or four dollars. So that was pretty good score. I got a bunch of the stuff done here. Not too many items, just 15 items total. I only did the brand new items. So all the stuff that's sealed, that's all I did. We still have a few more things in here. I've got another Guitar Hero doll that needs to go in at some point as well, but that's all that I just worked on right here. So we have $511 in sales value, which is $355 after fees. And I know that sounds really horrible, but <clears throat> I never look at this when I'm deciding to buy an item or not. I'm looking at this. Whoops. <laughs> so um, on any of the items here, this includes stuff from today and yesterday and the day before. Um, so what was one of the cheaper ones? Um, this remote. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Okay. So this remote here, we're selling it for 20 bucks. That only gives us 1172 after fees but I only paid $5 for it. So we are still a little bit over doubling our money, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't ever look at the $20 price tag and think, oh man, I'm going to get 20 bucks. I understand there's fees and shipping and everything. So I'm only ever looking at the price after fees when I'm buying stuff. And that pops up in the Amazon seller app. So fees are high, but you can still find stuff that's worth it. Before we head home, we are going to open up these two packages uh, that came in the mail today. It's getting kind of late. We stayed late to do that Amazon stuff, but... Cooper was like, can we just stay 10 minutes? And I was like, sure. And then it is uh, 9.40. So 40 <laughs> minutes later, what this? Ooh, <laughs> this what is a good one. Is. So I've told you guys how my friend Sean sends me listings sometimes. He sent me this one. Um, I remember this one. This is not in good condition, but it doesn't really matter because of what it is. And this is a copy of Earthbound for Super Nintendo. As you can see, it's very yellowed. Label is faded. Let's see it. It's ugly. Yeah. It's ugly, but I got this for $90. Other side. Off of eBay. And this game, the last one we had, we sold for 180. Obviously, in this condition, we're not going to sell it for that much. It, but it's on top of somebody's address. Yeah. So, obviously, we cannot look at a board and tell if it's earthbound or not, but we can at least tell if it's a fake. And that's definitely not a fake. So and then, what we, we do is we go to this awesome website. Well, the board's not fake, so let's just pop it in. And it's called, what is it? Too many controllers piled This up is here. what I go to. We go to E for Earthbound. And we click Earthbound. And this is going to have all the different pictures. Did you say B for Birthbound? No. But so here it is. Open a new tab. And it's going to show you a picture. And we compare side by side. What does that say? It's BR6265. Dash, dash one two, two LL. LL. Yep. And they have a bunch of different ones. I like this website a lot. So that's a legit board. And so now. But you can like go and click on this and different ones will have different informations. Um, like it has the front. Usually it'll have like, it'll have like a box picture as well. None of these do. This is a giant miss because of Ryan. Nintendo. Ape. Come on, there's no controller plugged in, so we just have to wait. Oh, that looks awful. <laughs> it looks even worse on the... Earthbound. There we go. <laughs> in this condition, this is not a $180 game. But it is still an Earthbound. Um, we will probably price this at one forty nine ninety nine. If you want it, contact us. 
we will um we will in this condition we will ship it out but i am going to require you to pay for shipping as well as um a signature confirmation delivery which is only two dollars more so but if you want it messages this one what that i'm not sure oh the the earthbound by the way was listed for a hundred or best offer and i had offered oh what i had, I had offered? offered 80 um plus shipping and then the guy countered at 90 and i accepted what is the hat okay so this is for the collection um and this is another listing that sean sent me <laughs> So, this is a game that I thought we had, but oh, we did not. Oh, no. No. Misadventures of Tron Vaughn for PS1. I don't want you to keep it. I saw how much we spent on it. and Oh, well, yeah. It's not a cheap game. And you were, like, all excited because you're like, oh, my goodness. Like, we bought it for this, and this is what we'll sell it for. Because I, I thought we really already, excited. I thought we already had it in the collection. And then... Turns out we didn't. We don't have it in the collection. It's pretty gnarly. Are you sure you want it? Look at the the artwork right here. It's all messed up. You don't want well, that. Well, now I'm curious because... So this is a two-disc game. Um, it comes in a double case originally. And the listing said that the original case got destroyed. That's why this back artwork right here is, like, chewed up. Yeah, you don't want that. You want to sell it. But he included the original case in here, and I believe... So, what's in here? There's the game disc. Does it have the two game discs? It comes with one game disc and one demo. The demo is included, so I'm assuming that is in here. So, there's a demo oh. for Mega Man Legends 2. And then, what is this? The, the rest of the case, duh. I don't know. Yes. So. Oh, let's put it in here. So it doesn't come in a double case, but well, it is a two disc so it's thing. probably for the best since Ryan brought these today. It doesn't come in a double case. Oh. So. Oh. I so, got you. That's like the Resident Evil game for Dreamcast. Yeah, but I can't remember exactly. They said something like, I don't think this is the original one. I think this is. What are you going to put? Yeah, this is, this is cracked. It's missing the little corner piece there. Oh. So this doesn't stay in here the way it's supposed to. This is technically still complete. It's just the case is not perfect, which it's not a huge deal. There's plenty of cases like this for PS1. I could always swap it with another another game. Um, but, so this would go on the back side. Then the game disc would go on the front. And then it goes in just like that. So it doesn't click into place like it's supposed to. And why doesn't that want to close? Because it doesn't go in that case. Right. So, the whole case is not the original. So I'm going to have to swap it with another one. The PS1 thing has these two little things. There's no cutouts on this. Well, there is on the back. There's just not on the front. So, I don't know. We'll have to combine this with some other type of case. But this is a complete copy. We paid... What was it? 180. 180. Before tax. And it is complete in good condition is roughly a $300 game. So I'm okay with that little bit of wear on the case for now. We will probably get one traded into the store at some point and I can always upgrade condition. Um, but I mean, there it is. Two pretty rare games. Just, I mean, Earthbound's not super rare, but two expensive games. Just chilling in our eBay packages. What, what? Pretty cool. Oh, not gonna, not gonna we complain. didn't get our regular mailman today. No? Mm-mm. I miss him. He was nice. This other guy was a fart. 
Well, it's not like the main guy is like gone forever. You don't know that. And I'm sure you guys realize, but I should also mention that Amazon stuff I showed you, that's not everything we bought. That's just the new stuff we bought for Amazon. We have some pre-owned stuff for Amazon. We have stuff for eBay and we have stuff for the store as well. So that 300, 300 and whatever dollars it was is not like the total of everything we've gotten. Of course, it's just the Amazon stuff. I'm cooking up some chicken, zucchini and squash right now. Uh, for dinner, I wasn't planning on cooking anything tonight, um, but why not? I'm hungry. I don't want to eat like a frozen burrito or something, so I saw we had uh, two two squashes left and one zucchini, so I cut those up, and then I was just going to have that, and then I was like, you know what? Let's throw some chicken in here. <laughs> we had some, what is it? It's like this pre- pre-cooked so all you have to do is heat it technically but this Tyson like grilled chicken um, luckily they're in small enough pieces that they're going to heat up pretty quick because um, I had already cooked the squash and zucchini. Abby and I like our squash and zucchini a little bit overcooked where it's a little softer so uh, that's you know it's all going to be pretty good but I really seasoned the crap out of these vegetables and so I'm not seasoning the chicken at all. I'm hoping that it'll just all kind of mix together and the chicken will absorb that flavor. So let me put this, I don't know what you call that, spoon thing. So here's what I used. So Lowry seasoned salt. I used a very little bit of this. It's pretty salty. That's the only salt that I put in. Um, we have some organic crushed rosemary. So fancy. And then some Spice Islands garlic and herb seasoning. I craft ton of pepper and then a little bit of this rosemary garlic, roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt spice blend. So I guess there's some salt in there as well. I didn't use too much, but it's looking pretty good. Got it all cooking up. Man, it's gonna be delicious.